G'day, I'm Kevin Young. I'm Australia's most successful property investor, but I started out poor and I'm constantly being asked, how do you do it? How do you get there? You ask me, I'll give you the solutions. And between us, we'll make you wealthy. G'day, welcome back to Ask Kevin Young. And we're getting lots and lots of questions, which is really good. Stacey from New South Wales asks, why is property so expensive? Well, the answer is government greed. And they're talking about increasing it by 50%, taking GST from 10 to 15%. Well, if you look at these charts, you can see the effect that GST had when it came in. It pushed property prices up. And it's going to do exactly the same thing again. So our members made a mozza because we said before 2000, this is going to happen, get in now and buy. So they bought, bought, bought and made a lot of money. The same thing is going to happen again. 40% of a new property is government greed. So if I buy a $500,000 new property, I'm paying $200,000 to state, local or federal tax coffers. Government greed. So if we're talking about the high price of property, look no further than the government. But am I a good Australian or a bad Australian by not paying tax? Well, remember, if I buy a $500,000 new property, I'm really paying $200,000 cash to the governments for their roads, bridges and schools and all that sort of thing. So I think I'm a good Australian. But if I bought a second-hand property for $500,000, I wouldn't be contributing to government coffers. And I think, therefore, negative gearing should be a quarantine back just to new properties. And if you buy a second-hand property, you're not helping the country, so you shouldn't get the benefit of negative gearing. So it's really simple. What's causing the high price of property? Government greed. Another couple of factors that uh, people forget when they're talking about the high price of Australian properties is that we are city-centric in Australia, whereas the typical American home is in low-priced country towns and they're fairly cheap properties. We couldn't find anything there to recommend to our members. I couldn't find anything there to buy. Uh, very few solid construction, uh, uh, typically in, in America. So I'm not comparing apples with apples. We're comparing in Australia, very pricey city land being used, quality, good construction properties, and they're typically bigger and have things like en suites. Houses now have got a theatre room, and that is not a typical property in America or England. But if you get into their cities to compare apples with apples, their city prices are much higher than our city prices. So you just got to be careful to compare apples with apples when you say Australia's dear, Australia's cities aren't dear.